Hi there, my name's Rebecca from Rebecca Marie Creative and today I'm going to show you how to piece together multiple infusible ink shapes using the slice tool on Cricut Design Space. It's really easy to do and it means that you don't have overlapping colours when applying the infusible ink to your mug, coaster, tote bag, whatever it is. So I'm going to be using this mug design setup project. This is basically a template, which means that um, I can position everything that's on my mug and I know that it'll all fit perfectly on the mug that I'm going to be using. So I know what the finish size is because I can check the box of my Cricut mugs and then we just click customize down here. And it effectively shows you the entire design so um, if you wanted to have a solid block colour for your mug this is the rectangle of colour that you would be using and then you would cut in your designs here um, and then this also shows you so like this is the centre of your mug and the size of your mug so it gives you quite a lot um, which is very helpful so now we're going to select some pumpkins and then we're going to use the slice tool to jigsaw piece them together so firstly, I'm just going to get that um, pumpkin design and show you where it is. So I searched for pumpkin in images and um, this is the code that you're going to need. And then I selected on view image sets and it's from Gnome for the Holidays. And there are a few different pumpkin designs. So there is one here um, and then there are two others here which I selected and inserted them into canvas. And here they are. I've just duplicated that little one um, as well. So from here, the first thing I'm going to do is just change the colours so that you can see clearly what I am going to do. So I'm just going to give them some different colours, maybe an orange and then a pink, just so you can see. So firstly, what I would do is arrange the pumpkins the way you would like them to look on your mug. So I've got some overlapping as you can see. And right now, if we applied that on Infusible Ink, whether it's a mug, a tote bag, the colors would be overlapping. And so you would get like a strange color in between here. Um, that's kind of like a combination of the two, but I don't want to do that. So what we do, to create effectively a jigsaw puzzle you want it to fit together and you just once everything's cut out you basically just assemble the jigsaw pieces together what you want to do is select two at a time so i'm going to select this pink pumpkin and this purple pumpkin and you'll see that the slice tool in our actions menu down here becomes available anything that overlaps the slice tool will cut through and create that um, jigsaw puzzle that we need. We'll actually, uh, no, that's fine. So let's click slice. Perfect. And then I'm just going to remove that piece. We want to keep the purple one whole um, just because we're going to use this one and connect it as a jigsaw piece together so what I'm going to do is just weld those two, two back together the other thing you could do is um, just duplicate your pumpkin before using the slice tool so that you've got one that's whole and one that's um, the sliced one so now you can see if it's perfectly together there's these two tiny little pieces which I don't care about keeping so I'm just going to get a circle use the unlock tool and change the aspect ratio and basically fit in to that area like so so that it's fully covering them and then again select the circle and that pink pumpkin and use the slice tool to remove them so now this pumpkin is free of those pieces and then it just fits together perfectly like so and now we're going to do the same with the orange pumpkin and the purple so again i will keep the purple as the whole one so i'm just going to duplicate it so that we've got one ready or we can just you know weld it back together of course so um i will select the purple and the orange and then use the slice tool and now you'll see we can remove these oh, different 
different elements and again there's like a bit of a stray piece which I don't mind about getting rid of at all so I'm just going to unlock a shape change the aspect ratio and just cover up that piece like so and then use the slice tool again and then that's just going to help us get rid of those extra stray pieces perfect so um, I will get rid of the, the, the sliced purple pumpkin and then I'll put it back in place and then I will also put this one back where I wanted it and then finally we have this little gourd and I would like him to be round about there so again we just need to do um, a slice again this time I want to keep this pink gourd the whole one so I'm going to duplicate that one ready to replace or you could weld them together as we did previously so I'm going to select the pink gourd and the orange pumpkin and then click the slice tool again to create that lovely jigsaw piece so you can see there's a few bits here we might need to get rid of I'm just taking a circle to remove the little tiny pieces that we don't need and just overlapping to the point where it's not overlapping the design that I need but it's in an area it's covering everything that we want to get rid of so again just select both of those and use the slice tool and then we can get rid of those little pieces and then again just jigsaw piece it all back together like so and that is how you basically use the slice tool to jigsaw those pieces so that when you do use your infusible link it's not overlapping and you will get all these lovely strong colours so now I'm going to carry on with my design I'm going to add in some stars and some some five point stars and some four point stars whatever stars I can get because I want it to look magical just drag over all of your images and I'm just going to bring them over here now I'm just going to select everything and group it together at this particular time just so that I can easily move everything around So now everything is inside the mug, I'm going to now add a few more star elements and balance everything out. I'm now going to add some text as well. So I've just used the insert text button and I'm going to start with hello. And I'm just going to select a font. I'm now going to select a different font for October. There is one more thing I actually want to do with the pumpkins before we carry on so I'm just going to 
ungroup those and just remove them from the mug template for one second. I would like to change the stems that come off the pumpkins to a different colour. So again we're going to use the slice tools to, to separate them so that we can then change the colour of them. So I'm going to use a circle and we'll just zoom in for this. And you want the shape to be overlapping but not interfering with the pumpkin shape itself. So right now I can see that would cover everything so I'll select that circle and the orange pumpkin and use the slice tool. And now this is separate which is great. So I'm just going to change the colour. I would like this to be a brown colour like so and I'm now going to do that with the other two pumpkins too. Like so and I'm just going to group these together so that I can move them nicely around. Okay, so I would really like the stars to be a part of this mug wrap template because I find this is a really great template to use to help you wrap the design around the mug. So if I keep the stars as the colour that's going to have that, it just means that I need to attach it to the mug design to make sure that it cuts out the stars and that mug template on that particular piece of infusible ink. So that's what I will do now. Okay, so we will attach the stars together and now I'm going to attach that to the mug wrap template. We can actually now remove the turquoise square as I'm not doing a solid colour all the way around. The stars are what's going to be my pattern wrap, like so. We need to get rid of these mug um, instructions as well and now everything's ready so that we can continue to make it. One tip that I must remind you of is always apply the mirror button whenever you are using infusible ink just because it needs to be in the reverse so that when you apply the ink to the base of your material it's the right way round. I'm going to be using multiple different colours of infusible ink so I've got distressed berry and I'm using the lilac colour from that. I have got pink lemonade which is a Cricut Joy version. I've got um, another patterned pink lemonade and I'm using the more ombre effect one and then I've got distressed rustic and I'm using the orange as well as the brown for the pumpkin stems as well. So I'm also using my Cricut Maker 3, I love this machine very much and I'm using the standard grip mat to apply my infusible ink. So you always need to apply infusible ink, ink side facing you. So just pop it down onto the mat and you can see that I've got like a little ripple there and the brayer tool is absolutely fantastic for smoothing out any lumps or bumps that you might have to, on your infusible ink. So you just roll that along and that should get rid of all your bubbles and wrinkles. Next when your machine is ready pop in your mat, press the load button and then when your machine is ready to go, press the go button and let your machine do its thing. When your machine has finished cutting, take the infusible link off the mat and then begin to remove all the excess parts of the infusible ink sheet that you don't need. So you're going to keep all the parts that are going to be transferred over on the infusible ink backing. We want to keep the shape that you can see now which will help when wrapping the mug design around. So if it hasn't cut all the way through that shape just use your scissors to help 
cut the sides um, so that you can wrap it around your mug and then all I do is I'm going to peel back because my design is mostly stars for this particular infusible ink sheet. In the middle there is nothing so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that middle part away, keep that and then um, at another point I'll use some um, either like transfer tape to, to reuse that part so it's not going to waste. But I'm just going to peel back all the parts that we don't need. There we go and then I'm just going to cut those that part so that I can use that for another time and then I'm going to keep that in the little pouch that it comes in and um, to keep that protected for whenever I'm going to make with that. Then I'm just going to cut up all the pieces into their shapes uh, or their text and then peel back all the parts we don't need as well on those items. You can see I've changed to the grid side of the cutting mat as this is going to help me align things up. I can see where my centre is, which is where I'm going to begin putting down the purple pumpkin pieces. So on your Design Space software, go back so you can refer to that image, but remember it is in reverse, so everything is flipped over. So you might even want to flip your design on Design Space just so you can see what it will look like. Then all you need to do is peel off each part and then Put it together like a jigsaw piece on the infusible ink backing. It can be a little bit fiddly but I find it's quite therapeutic and as you've got a reference of what it should look like it's fairly easy to place them down and if you get it wrong the backing and the ink is very forgiving in that you can just pick it up and change the places. If you've got tiny little pieces I tend to use some tweezers to help place those parts um, just because they can be very very fiddly and I find using tweezers um, a lot easier. So there's all our pumpkins and now I'm just going to do the text so it needs to be backwards um, and I'm going to start with the L so that I make sure it's in the centre of the mug wrap and then I'm going to work around that L and I can use the grid, the, the mat below me um, as a guide to keep the letters straight as well. I'm now going to put the second word down which is October and again I'm going to line it up with the grid to ensure it's nice and straight. Okay so now I've applied everything to the infusible ink backing and now I'm going to use that backing as a wrapper to wrap around my mug. So you can see there's little handles on the very end and they just sit underneath the mug handle which allows you then to roll and wrap it nice and tightly around your mug like so. Then all you do is you pop the mug into the mug press by the handle and push down the lid when the green light is showing to say it's ready. When you first turn it on it will be red because it needs to heat up but as soon as it's heated up you'll see a green power button like so and the white timer which will tell you that it's cooking, it's heating up and once you get to five white lights and the green power like beeps it means you can take the mug out. Just leave it to cool as it's going to be very 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 hot. Once it's cool you can peel it back and you will reveal all the beautiful colours that have now transferred over to the mug and it's just so amazing, the colours are so bright when you transfer onto mugs and coasters, it's always so um, exciting to see and you'll see that the infusible ink is actually one with the mug unlike vinyl which sits on the top it's actually completely infused into the mug which is so beautiful and it means it's dishwasher and microwave safe. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial which shows you how to overlap infusible ink colours so that you get strong beautiful colours and that they're not blended together as well as using the slice tool. Thank you for watching.